So uh, back to the body here and um, we're going to do our forearm uh, contour here. So we've just made this line across and um, over the years Fender have done it various different ways, various different angles and stuff like that. And um, this is just my own personal taste, it's not a particularly huge forearm contour or anything. Some of them go uh, right across the body and that. So this is just a small little relief kind of. And I'll just show you to the side and it just goes down to about say halfway of the depth of the body and then again with our rib cage contour here we're just going to be taking off a small amount as well on uh, the inside and side of the body as well we've got a couple of different lines here and we'll just blend all that in so a lot of people have different ways of doing this and um, people have jigs and stuff for their band saws to take slices off people use belt sanders and stuff like that I'm going to be using a combination of uh, my belt sander and just uh, plain old elbow grease with a Shinto saw rasp just to take away a lot of material so that's what we're going to do, we're just going to clamp the body down and just really hog away a lot of material from the forearm contour and the belly contour and we'll show you that now so we've got our Japanese saw rasp here and we're just really going to just really cut in here and just take away a lot of material going close to the line on the top and the side and then we'll switch the file over, use the smoother side then come back with files and our belt sander and stuff like that and get it all nice and completely smooth and round over all the edges then we'll flip the body over and we'll do our belly contour so as we said, just elbow grease here, just getting stuck in and just hogging away as much of this material as we can And so with our belly cut here, or rib cage contour, whatever you want to call it, same again, we're just going to get stuck in with the uh, Shinto saw rasp, just hog away a lot of the material and then smooth the whole thing down. So we're just doing a quick check here to see how we're getting on with our alignment. So we've just got a laser line set up here and we're just going down the center line of the body and then that's putting us down the center line of the neck and we're pretty much bang on right with the center line right up where the nut is going to be. So our next step is going to be able to try and get everything held in place uh, directly online and then we can mark where our string ferrules uh, sorry, our neck ferrules and bolts are going to go. So we're just on the back of the neck here and we're just using a ruler to give us a nice perpendicular line and we're using a slightly smaller than normal neck plate and we won't be using this neck plate but we're just using it as a template to mark out uh, where we're going to be putting our string ferrules and bolts. So with those four holes now we can drill through and then we can uh, oversize them then uh, and countersink them almost just so they'll accept their string ferrules so I'll go over to the drill press and we'll drill these out now And so that's their four ferrules for our neck bolts installed and they're all uh, completely flush with the surface so we can just use a magnetic tool and we can just pop these out now 
and then we can drill all the way through for the correct size for our neck bolts. So we've just got our laser line set up here and um, I don't know if you can make this out on camera you can just see where our joint is there where bang on center lines on the body and on the neck and then just up above there uh, we're right on the center line uh, at the top of the neck where the nut is going to be so we've got that clamped in place now so nothing can move and so then we can lift this up now and through the holes that we've uh, drilled on the back of the body we can mark the back of the neck where they're going to need to be so we'll very carefully move our neck and body up and mark the back of those uh, it can be a very difficult two-handed job so I may not film it, we'll see And so we've just temporarily screwed the neck in place and we're just doing a final check with our laser uh, just to make sure everything is still on track and we're right on our center lines all the way right up to where our nut is going to be so we're happy enough with that so what we can do is we can take the neck back off and put that to one side as we get ready to carve that out and then on the body we have to do a final sanding and get that prepped for paint so two big jobs still to come so carving the neck and then sanding the body in preparation for paint.